Hi everybody, how are you today? I am here to read you a story. Today's book is called Angry Arthur, and we're gonna read it on this camera right here. Look at that. This is Angry Arthur by Hyowen Oram, illustrated by Shatoshi Kitamura. And I really like this book because I know we're all at home a lot more right now because of coronavirus or the sickness, like we sometimes call it. And I don't know about you, but I get kind of tired of being home all the time and it makes me a little frustrated and even a little angry sometimes. So this story is about Arthur, a friend who gets angry sometimes too. Let's see what he tells us about it, okay? Once there was a boy named Arthur, one night, Arthur wanted to stay up and watch a Western on TV. That's a cowboy movie. No, said his mother. It's too late. It's time for bed. I'll get angry, said Arthur. Get angry. That's okay, said his mom. Ooh, look at him. He is pretty angry. He did. He got very, very angry. He got so angry that his anger became a dark cloud exploding into thunder and lightning and hailstones. You see all the lightning in his anger? Do you feel like that sometimes? I do, I really do sometimes. That is enough, said his mother, but it wasn't. See that dark cloud? Arthur's anger became a hurricane, ripping off roofs and chimneys and church steeples. Look how angry he is. In his imagination, look what he's doing because of his anger. That's enough, said his father, but it wasn't. Do you think that he's still angry? Look, at he knocked over a car with his anger. Arthur's anger became a typhoon, sweeping whole towns into the sea. Wow, that's really mad. Oh my goodness, that is enough, said his grandfather. But it wasn't. Look at his face. How does he feel? That's right, he feels angry or mad. He's not happy, is he? Arthur's anger became an earth tremor. It split the surface of the earth like a giant cracking egg. That's enough, said his grandmother. But it wasn't. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Look at all of that anger. It's shaking him so much. Look at all those angry faces. Poor Arthur. Have you ever felt like that? Where you're so angry, you're just shaky like that? I have. Oh, I missed some words. Arthur's anger became a universe quake. The earth, the moon, the stars, and the planets. Wow, with all those things he quaked up with his anger. Oh my goodness. Arthur's country, Arthur's town, his street, his house, his garden, his bedroom. They were nothing more than specks, just floating in space. Look at his face. How's he feeling now? Is he still angry? Maybe a little bit, but what else do you think he's feeling? Yeah, he looks a little sad to me too. Do you ever get sad angry? Arthur sat on a piece of Mars and he thought, and he thought and thought. Why was I so angry, he wondered. He never could remember. Can you? And that was Angry Arthur by Hyo and Oren. And I don't know about you, but I do get that angry sometimes. Sometimes I get so angry, I go like this. And sometimes I get so angry that I go, Arr! and sometimes I even get so angry that I go, Arr! because it does help me feel a little bit better. But you know what? Whenever I get that angry, I also start to feel a little bit sad. And then I think about it, and I don't even know why I was so angry, just like Arthur in our story. So boys and girls, I want you to remember, okay, it is okay to be angry. But when you're angry, I don't want you to go, Arr! all right? When you are that angry, you need to talk to a grown-up who loves you and let them help you feel better, okay?
All right, boys and girls, I love you so much. I hope I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.